And joining me for today's topic, book critic Wendy Shields. Always a pleasure. I heard about you and Ted. Heard what exactly? Every seven years, the itch comes over him. He gets restless, does something juvenile. I'm not going home with you, Wendy. Oh, instead of buying a motorcycle, Daddy decided to give a doctor a spin. Who is it? Darwan Singh Tour for your driving lesson, please. What happened? We're moving. That's good. You know, sometimes you just have to cut a trailer short. Otherwise, you wind up watching a trailer that makes you turn not towards the movie, but against it. All of a sudden, Learning to Drive seems like one of those like transformational films in which um, a nice blonde woman, not so nice, she's kind of bitter right now, gets transformed or has the possibility of transformation uh, because of a person of color. And in this case, uh, Darwin, played by Ben Kingsley, who is a Sikh from India. And, um, and I guess I, what I think is sort of cool about this film is that it, it knows what your like doubts are going to be. It knows what our quibbles are going to be. I think, and it comes from a very intelligent place. Normally, I think that you you go, oh, but it's Patricia Clarkson, who's a wonderful actress. I and she's fantastic in this. I mean, there's something very. Um, it's better than believable. It's textured about her performance. So she isn't just that like angry woman who has been left for a younger woman kind of thing. She's very intelligent and she's also struggling with um, becoming um, more emotional, not just intellectual. Point your eyes at the middle of the lake. Your peripheral vision sees all the rest. Oh, whoa, whoa! Osama! Oh, I thought we killed you! <laughs> Shut up! Does that happen to you often? Every day. People try to push your buttons. You don't engage with them, especially when you drive. I think that we think that good acting can save a familiar movie. It kind of can, but not if the script isn't good. And I actually think the script is pretty interesting. Uh, it's based on a Katha Pollitt New Yorker piece um, from a few years back, a memoir piece that has like humor and like sort of observation and all those things. But uh, I think that this movie and most movies that are familiar, most dramedies that like sort of strike us as familiar, almost all the things that are great about them are found in the details and the details are sort of aware of themselves in some ways. So yes, is learning to drive a trope? I mean, is it sort of like a metaphor for not just life, but for moving on or moving forward and all those things? Of course it is. Although this movie's called Learning to Drive and clearly she's learning how to drive and a lot of their time together is in the car, it never feels claustrophobic particularly because I think there's a lot of life outside. Here is your reward. You have a master's? I was a university professor, like my father. Why do you teach driving? For a better job, I would have to take off my turban, shave off my beard. People think I look dangerous. But this is how I know who I am, and here it is too easy to forget. Do you ever get back for visits? I can never go home to India. It's part of political asylum. I couldn't get to see my dad before he passed away last year. I missed my mom's funeral too, but then I was in prison there. Why? There was no justice for Sikhs. How long were you in prison? <sighs> long time. There's a lot that happens outside, and yet it still manages, I think, very persuasively to orbit around these two characters and yet create more energy around them as well, which I think is, a, is another reason why it's better than most dramedies in that regard. It really sort of keeps adding on to, without detracting from the central story and the central relationship, which is Darwan and Wendy. We don't know how to talk to her. We don't like the same things at all. She's <sighs> scared of America, she's scared of me, she hides. You know words, Wendy. What do I say? That you'll... You'll never stop trying. That you'll fight for her. Every day, you'll try to cross the divide. Because she's worth that. Is this what you wanted to hear from him? You know, of course, if this were an action movie, there'd be so many like things I could say about it. It's like, oh, buckle up, or like, you know, it's gonna be herky jerky, or it's gonna like veer this way, or it's gonna like careen that way. But of course, it isn't that. And I guess what I need to say is, you know, 
yes, get in the car, start the ignition, check your mirrors, and you're in for a pleasant ride.